What is up guys, my name is Wumbo, and I want to talk a little bit about Call of Duty today. We have some really interesting, slightly concerning news to talk about. So ever since Modern Warfare came out, the Call of Duty series has primarily consisted of these two different series, right? We have Modern Warfare, obviously, and then we have Black Ops. So now that Black Ops 3 has kind of almost run its course here, we're about to reach the end of its development cycle, we've run out of series to look forward to. We don't necessarily know what the next kind of line of Call of Duty is going to be. So developers at Infinity Ward seem to be saying that they want the upcoming Infinite Warfare to begin an entirely new sub-franchise in the Call of Duty series. So in an interview with Polygon, the narrative director Taylor Kurosaki, who came to Infinity Ward in 2014, he made a point that he really wants to make his mark on a new Call of Duty series. And he stated recently, and I quote, we want to establish our own new sub-franchise, our own new branch of the Call of Duty tree. What we are developing here could certainly support multiple games. We're trying to develop a very rich world that we're not even close to exhausting. It's really interesting, Kurosaki essentially has been describing Infinite Warfare as as much of a jump as was Call of Duty 3 to Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. He's saying that Infinite Warfare is the next chapter in Call of Duty. Now, as we all know, Infinite Warfare has received more hate than pretty much any video game ever. I mean, the dislikes on that trailer are pretty brutal. You would think that a game that is so hated would not have a series on its tail, but it really looks like Infinity Ward is really proud about this game, and they are really investing in this thing in the long run. Kurosaki specifically said that he was sure that the Infinity War team felt the same kind of tremendous burden when they went from World War II to Modern Warfare. It's an entire new world with new weapons, vehicles, AI, under the hood stuff, and he's saying that they're doing the exact same thing with Infinite Warfare. It's that much of a sea change. So with so much hate, with all of this negative conversation, Infinity Ward is trying to portray it in a, in a positive light. Now, I tend to be pretty optimistic when looking at video games. I like to think that, you know, these kind of things are going to play out in the way that we want. But if you recall, when Call of Duty Ghost came out, or when pretty much any other failed Call of Duty game came out, they always talk about how new and revolutionary things are. And quite frankly, every single Call of Duty that comes out is the same thing with a different skin. It's just new weapons, uh, new setting. The campaign is obviously a little bit different. But at its core, you get the same gameplay in basically every single game. While I appreciate that Kurosaki is optimistic about his game, I can't help but wonder if this is just a marketing attempt to to try to get people back on track in terms of pre-ordering Infinite Warfare. Pre-orders have been down, and while he could be correct in saying that this game is going to be amazing and it's going to be a brand new beginning for Call of Duty, he could also be completely wrong and he could just be trying to sell his game. So I'm going to be taking this one with a grain of salt, but it is interesting. It basically confirms that Infinite Warfare 2 is going to be coming. We're not going to be seeing boots on the ground probably uh, anytime soon. Obviously, Treyarch could come out with whatever they want. Sledgehammer could be doing whatever they want. But uh, yeah, Infinite Warfare looks like we're going to be in it for the long haul, guys. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. My name is Wumbo. I'll see you next time.